real. This is where Gillespie is the most comfortable right here in this position. And Gonzalez does a great job trying to create that sweep from the ankle, gets back to his feet with it. Eats, eats a knee, down. eats a right, and eats a hook on the way up. But how tough is this Californian Gonzalez? Eating big shots! Roar, these guys are just absolutely hanging it all out. Incredible the way they're Holy playing. cow, man, these guys just stood right in front of each other for about 18 punches oh. right there, just eating them. Gillespie oh. just teeing off in the pocket. Gonzalez's chin is undeniable. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> Wake up, people. It's a fight. <laughs> Shot here from Gillespie, and he Beautiful. lands it nicely done. Beautiful takedown. He cuts the corner on the transition, goes straight to side mount. It doesn't get prettier than that on the takedown. Good game plan. Why? You got to take some of that air out of him, take some of that fight out of Gonzalez, because Gonzalez is game. An arm choke attempt here from Gillespie. And now he's out. He's pretty much out. Gillespie has There's to the Gregor Gillespie lighting him up in Pittsburgh. What a fight. Those guys earned every second. Gonzalez does not need to hang his head low. He scrapped. Gillespie says, you know what? I think I'm going to shoot. Yeah. Takes him down. Beautiful takedown. Perfect. Cuts the corner. Takes Gonzalez down to the mat in the second round. Gets to the mount. Goes to arm triangle. Gonzalez did a good thing. He tried to grab his leg to create some space, but it was too little, too late. And Gillespie gets the finish with the arm triangle. Yeah, but Gillespie continues to apply pressure. Big knee there. And the reason why this is so detrimental for Gillespie to be here is because he's so comfortable here. He can literally fight this fight for 10 rounds because he's comfortable grappling forever. Look how he's staying under the armpits of Rinaldi. That's keeping him from getting too high. And that's what's jacking the hip flat under the arms and under the legs. And Rinaldi is going nowhere here, ladies and gentlemen. Rinaldi better stop moving that head. Or this fight could end here before we see a second round. This is it. Gregor Gillespie trying to move to 11-0. and That'll do it. Gregor Gillespie with ease tonight in Charlotte. Man. Beautiful technique. I mean, that was a technical masterpiece right there when it comes to grappling. That's how you control somebody with wrestling and submission attempts and control from the top position. I mean, I hit pretty hard. I knocked the dude out in 21 seconds. I dropped the last guy a couple times. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to my boxing or my wrestling specifically. You got to mix them up. And I think, yeah. I mean, they're like, oh, he's just a wrestler. I've been in boxing for quite a few years now. I can hit. And the shell's corner said they didn't have their spit bucket with them. Not bad advice. Wow. I don't think they addressed the physical needs of the fighters that time. So Gillespie once again able to take Michelle down with relative ease. And that elbow creeping up. Whenever you creep up the elbow, you're looking for the arm triangle. And he's going for it. Has the arm trapped. He can finish it here. Might have it. Michelle taps Gregor Gillespie 12-0 as he finishes Vince Michelle tonight. Persistence is everything. You miss one, fine. You miss five, you miss 10, whatever. You get the 19th one, and then you end up in a position you want to be in. It's all about staying active and persistent, and that's what I'm all about. I'm like water to a rock. Water will go through that rock eventually, baby. <laughs> and if you're Yancey, you have to break the position. The ref will not change his position because he's in such a dominant place. The ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. And right now, Greg Gillespie is not allowing the answer Madero to do that. Oh, he's got a flat. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, it was under his chin. He didn't even take it. Big shots here from Gregor Gillespie towards the tail end of round two. Madero's covered up. Oh. Was that a stoppage? It was Gregor Gillespie. Knocks out Yancey Medeiros. That had to be very close to the end of the round. Yeah, we didn't hear a horn. Gregor Gillespie gets the round two finish. Another feather in the cap of the lightweight contender, Gregor Gillespie, as he stops Yancey Medeiros with just a few seconds to go in round two. I knew I would soften him up. I knew he couldn't do that pace for three rounds, and it only took two. Guys, I love New York. Put me back here. You guys, next time, I promise we'll work our way up the ladder on this next one. That's the most I'll do for calling out.